This week, jazz pianist Joe Webb joins us in the 5DB canteen. Having grown up in Wales, Joe moved to London in 2013. He has performed regularly in venues such as Ronnie Scott's, the Royal Albert Hall and Coco. An avid fan of football, Joe briefly moved to Barcelona to watch his footballing hero, Lionel Messi, play at Camp Nou. During this time, Joe developed a passion for the cuisine of Spain, in particular, its irresistible paella. We chat music, seafood, crema catalana, and we bring the heat with the elusive Padron pepper. Joe? Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you for coming to the 5DB Canteen. Um, before we get on to my sort of my topic, the things that I love most, which is talking about food, I'd love to hear a little bit about your musical journey. Was it something that you knew from very early on? Oh, I knew it from from the very beginning. From from the age of seven years old, I started to get really obsessed with like playing piano in the school assemblies and things, mm. and just trying to pick up things by ear. And I think yeah, I, th I think like a real life changing moment was buying unrelated to the music I'm kind of I, I, I kind of play now. But I remember buying the Oasis album What's the Story Morning Glory mm -hmm. from Woolworths mm -hmm. on cassette. I love it. It was like someone really opening the window for for, for the first time, you know. Right. And I was like, well, I really wanted to do. I, I really I really want to be a musician. I really want to play piano, I want to do this. And in terms of like, you, you know, you talk a little bit about making music. Did that come early on as well? Actually coming up with your own sound and yeah. your own feeling and the things yeah. that you, as opposed to just mimicking what you had heard, but putting things on paper? I, I, yeah, and... once I'd kind of like worked out a few little licks, I used to just apply them in different ways and then improvise around them and stuff, you know. There wasn't a wicked moment where I wasn't really playing piano mm. or football as well, which is kind of weird. There was a real battle for a little while there, um, but I was—I mean, I was much better at, at, at piano by the age of like seven than I was at football. Okay. So I actually, wasn't very good at football <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but, but but music, you've definitely got down pat. Right, so. well, <laughs> so many so many amazing people al along the way have showed me so much different music, which obviously sculpts you as an artist mm. as well. Um, and, you know, in terms of just, oh, just check out this album, it's really cool, or check out this one bit of this album. Those things have such a huge effect on you. And when it comes to writing music, you, see, you know, I always think of it like a snowball going down a hill. It starts off really tiny, and then you meet loads and loads and loads of people mm. who, like, all pitch in their ideas to you and have a massive effect on you, That's you know? a great analogy. You mentioned that you grew up in Wales, but you also spent time in Spain. Yeah, that's right. There were a couple of things I had I had on the bucket list when I first moved to, to to London. It was, you know, to see some of my favorite piano players play. Yeah, some of my favorite um, musicians play. But also it was to see the football player Lionel Messi play as well. Because wow. um, I just watched, just, you know, mesmer as mesmerized by him, you know, 10 years ago, um, as I was when I was watching my granddad play, mm. play piano. Um, but I ended up sort of going there for football, but then like really fall in love with, with the city as well. Mm -hmm. Which city? Oh, Barcelona. sorry, sorry um, Barcelona. Barcelona. And um, yeah, and I definitely like developed a sort of paella addiction, actually. <laughs> so you're speaking to me, paella. I love it. I mean, paella in Barcelona is really it's, uh, it's incredible. It's yeah. something. And what you know, there's so many beautiful things that go around paella. But yeah. what is what is in your favorite? Seafood. What is Joe's favorite Seafood paella? Seafood paella for me. I stopped eating meat about five years ago. Mm -hmm. Like I still really enjoy eating fish, so I can still give myself that kind of paella fix every time I go over there or anywhere in Spain. You oh, know. I love it. When you say seafood paella, are there certain seafood, certain crustaceans, certain fish types that you like to have in your paella, or your? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of up for any of it, really. Yeah. I love having like the prawns on there and so, mm -hmm. some 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 of the mussels. But, um, yeah, but I mean, I just, you don't discriminate, basically. No, no, exactly. exactly yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. discriminate yeah. on the paella. A, a, any seafood on on the paella is is perfect with me, really. Well, the thing is, too, paella is so kind of. Um, it's so convivial. Yeah, like it's such yeah, yeah. a nice, like you said, like a, almost like a Sunday meal. You just yeah. everybody gets in there, some nice crusty bread. Uh, yeah, yeah, delicious. Yeah. I'm that's, already hungry. Uh, that's I'm it. already hungry. That's I'm it. waiting for wait. it. I'm waiting for it. Welcome to the 5DB Canteen. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you've all enjoyed your seafood paella. Yes. All thanks to Joe, yes. his request. Um, and now if everybody could please put their hands together and help me in a warm welcome for Joe Webb.
And in terms of, I mean, Spain is so great with tapas and yeah. all the little bits that come with. Are there any sort of nice little sides that you that you always tend to go for? Yeah, I mean, I love um, patatas bravas, mm. loads, and um, and uh, pasión peppers as well. Patron peppers and the shock yeah. when you get that one spicy yeah, exactly, one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. For a long yeah. time, I didn't believe it because they're so innocuous. They're just like you just exactly, yeah. don't taste spicy, and it's then suddenly, such a shock. Yeah, it, yeah. like you said, that feeling of just yeah, like yeah. the heat. During some of, some of my time um, over there, there was this game that some, some me, me and my friends used to play. And so whoever had the spicy one paid the bill. Great, <laughs> and <laughs> you, can't, like, you can't you can't it. exactly, and you're just like sweating. You'd be like, "Are you all right, mate? Yeah, they're fine. Yeah, yeah no, oh, these are lovely, aren't they? Yeah, yeah."
Smith. Do you have a sweet tooth at all? If you I, had to choose a dessert, I used, used to. I used to. One dessert that I used to um, have, yeah, have have quite quite a lot over there was was um, uh, it was the Catalan uh, creme de la creme de Catalan. Creme Catalan. That's it. Yeah, I really, I really I mean, like that. But I mean, the thing is, I used to have quite a sweet tooth when I when 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 I was younger. But it's kind of just phased into savoury now. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost all about the savoury now.
Thank you. Long, long night, long night. That was Joao Caetano on, on the percussion, the bongos. The beautiful accessories of the percussion section. Actually, what's the matter, actually? You've, you've been listening to Alex Haynes as well on the guitar. Rocking out. Miss Jazz Kayser on the drums. Of course, Mr. Will Sash on the double bass. And we're going to invite one special guest up now. Um, I think yeah, she, she's actually played here before. She's done one of these sessions before. Um, Miss Kitty Liv. Yeah. Miss Kitty Liv. Yeah. This is a tune that we wrote, uh, a, a, a song we wrote together. Um, and this is, this is called When the Sun Goes Down. That's right. Unless it's got a different name, which I don't know about. Which quite possibly could be we the case. We haven't quite named it yet. We haven't have quite we, named yeah. it. Mm -hmm. But for sake of argument for today, yeah. that's what it's called. Nice. <laughs> Is a big explosion. So buy me another drink, and I'm coming your way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want you in the light of day, no. I'm not high enough to kiss your face. I'm not drunk enough to mess around. I only wanna get it on when the sun goes down. 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 To hold my hand I'm just looking for a one night stand So buy me another drink And I'm coming away yeah. I don't want you to hold my hand I'm just looking for a one night stand When the sun comes up I'll be on my way baby. I don't want you in the light of day no. I'm not high enough to kiss your face I'm not drunk enough to mess around I only want to get it on When the sun comes down When the sun goes down When the sun goes down When the sun goes down 